Hi everybody, Casey Zander here and in this video today I'm going to be explaining the number one type of woman that you should avoid dating, especially if you are a full stack man who's on a mission, on a purpose, and building something for yourself. Now back by popular demand, I already know a lot of you have been asking where are the whiteboard videos, okay? These are low, low quality, low production, okay? They're easy for me to shoot and I know that you guys like them, so I figured I would bring one back for you guys with my old camera just to make it feel like it's the good old days. Now, with that said, as you're a man on a mission and you're a man building something for yourself, the most important thing that you always have to remember is the person that you bring into your life is going to be the most important, biggest decision that you make. Because that right there is the type of person who can either help bring you up and up level you, or that's the type of person who can bring you down. Now, the quicker somebody brings you down, the quicker the empire or whatever it is that you're building as a man for yourself, as you should be a creator, will probably fail. So with that said, we're going to get right into it. And I have to tell you this up front because this will preface the whole video for why this is so important to watch out for this. The number one type that you want to avoid when dating is going to be women with a victim mentality. Now do not close out. I know that some of you, you're gonna hear that, you're gonna think you know what a victim mentality is and you're going to close out of the video and you're gonna think, oh, got the information, got the sound bite, it's over. This could not be further from the truth. Okay. The reason being is because not only do I want you to fully understand why this is dangerous to your success as a high value man, but I want to show you how to spot it, how to know what to expect and how to dissolve the relationship civilly. So that way you don't have toxicity or turmoil in your life. Okay. Women with the victim mentality, first and foremost, what they're going to be thinking the entire time as they're dating you or as they're seeing you is that nothing is their fault. Okay. Whether they have a bad day at work, a bad day with their friend, whatever the case may be, they're going to feel like it's not their fault. Other people are doing things to them. And the biggest issue with that is that they never take ownership with their mistakes. If it's always everybody else's fault, that person will never be able to self reflect, look within and actually understand that some of the things that they may be doing may be actually causing that to have bad life circumstance. The reason why I feel so strongly about this is because my whole life, everything that I've done, whether it be building my body, making millions of dollars by the age at 24, 25, 26 in business, whatever the case may be, I have always taken full ownership for every shortcoming, every relationship that's failed, every loss, every win, it's always been my fault. And because of that, I'm able to actually weed through the BS and live life on my own terms. However, people with a victim mentality, they will never take ownership of their mistakes. And the reason why that is super important to understand is because when they have this mentality that the world happens to them, okay, they are always at the effect. They are never at the cause. If they're always at the effect, they will constantly feel like things are unfair. They feel like they have no control. Okay. And what's going to come with that is emotional outbursts, childlike behavior, and you're going to feel like you're dealing with an adolescent. Okay. I'm going to let you know a little secret. This victim mentality, this can even come with friends, not even somebody that you're dating. But if you're dating a person with these tendencies, you have to be able to dissolve it. And the reason being is because they solve no problems in their life, but they expect you to solve all of the problems for them. And this is extremely bad because as a high value man, as probably an entrepreneur, as a business owner that you are, I, I'm starting to actually see and realize that a lot of the men who are following this channel are entrepreneurs. A lot of you guys are building something amazing for yourself and that's great. But here's the thing, an entrepreneur, a businessman, you are constantly solving problems day to day for yourself. You're solving problems day to day to create yourself to be full stack. You are working through the six paradigms to be a head man. And because of that, you have enough problems going on in your life. You cannot afford to take on the weight and the burden of other people's. With that said, here's why it's dangerous to you as you're on your mission of being high value. Okay. You as a high value, man, you're susceptible to problem solving. And I know I am. Okay. I'm susceptible to problem solving. If there's something broken in my business, I want to fix it that minute. I do not want to fix it that day, that week, that month. It's not something I put off and I don't care if I have a million dollars cash in the bank or a hundred million dollars cash in the bank. When there's a problem, I want it fixed because I like things smooth. Okay. You're susceptible to problem solving. These type of people have loads of problems. Here's why this is an issue. You are probably a fixer. If you're the fixer guy, and what that means is always fixing people's problems. Honey, how can I fix this? Honey, how can I fix that? Honey, how can I make your life better? How can I make our life better? Okay. 
Here's the issue. You have a, you have a deep desire to serve and to help. These are good things. Okay. Your desire to serve and help is what gets you from zero to a million in business. Your desire to serve and help is what gets you to have other friends to network with that are full stack. Your desire to serve and help is what creates legacy generational wealth for yourself. However, here's what you have to understand. Okay. You are competent in a lot of areas because what it takes to acquire those resources as a businessman or as a high value individual, you have to understand how to generate money, how to find markets, how to have supply and demand, how to create products, how to fulfill those products. Okay. You're competent in a lot of areas. Therefore, when somebody with a victim mentality comes into their life and you see something that's so easy to fix, maybe even a way they're looking at a situation and you know, if they had your mindset, they could fix that in just the quick blink of a blink of an eye, a flip of a switch. What's going to happen is that competency in a lot of areas, you're going to try to bleed that over to fixing their problems. And this doesn't work. Okay. Because you are coming at this from the standpoint of handling things rationally as you should, but that other person is living in the world of emotion and deep down the drama that they have, they actually crave the drama that they have. They actually, they, it's like they fester on it. The second they don't have drama, they're bored. So they don't want their problems fixed because the second you use rational or objective truth, to fix those problems. Here's what happens. Emotionally, they now have nothing to focus on. Therefore they will create added toxicity or added turmoil just to stir the pot. So they have something to do. Okay. I feel extremely strong about this because not only have I made this mistake in my past, but I see high value men making this mistake time and time again. And those of you who one day want to be married, that's the quickest way to lose finances, lose millions of dollars and actually have a separation that doesn't go the way it should because you as a man cannot fix somebody with a victim mentality. You can only control yourself. Here's what to expect. If you do end up dating somebody or marrying somebody with a victim mentality, you're going to see lots of temper tantrums. You're going to notice drama on a day to day basis and drama that does not need to be there. Not to mention, Anytime there is drama, anytime there's an issue between you and that woman, maybe that you're seeing, what you're going to notice is instant involvement of all of the issues with her friends. And not only is this laughable, but this just adds in more people with more opinions to make your life more complex. And here's the thing. All of these issues are fake. None of them matter in the first place. What matters is that you're in good health. What matters is that you're making fat stacks of money. And what matters is that you have purpose. The second any of this drama comes into your life that doesn't equal an ROI, which stands for return on investment. You're sitting there going, why do I even waste my time on any of this in the first place? And see, this is the issue that happens when other people get involved. Your life gets instantly more complex, not to mention here's what you can expect, expect that companion you're seeing is never going to be happy with you. You can make the most amount of money, be the most jacked dude, have the most alpha energy in the world. Like you carry yourself like you're the shit. You can be like a rock solid, good looking, confident dude. And guess what? That person will never be happy with you. And it's because deep down, they're not happy with themselves. They're not where they want to be in life. They're not who they want to be with. And because of that, they have not even done the work to accomplish anything. Here's what I can tell you. Full stack men, you as a man on a mission with purpose. Okay. These are the two biggest things. These are big things that yield your wealth building legacy. You have to have mission in life and you have to be on a purpose. That is the only thing that can get you playing the game for decades upon decades without burnout. The reason why guys get burned out is because they're not actually on a mission. They're not doing something they love. They're not on their purpose. The second they're on their purpose, work no longer feels like work. Okay. These are big things you're focused on. Okay. Therefore the wrong women that you bring into your life can totally throw that off. And you're going to notice you start making less money. You're getting less sleep. Your diet isn't on point. And all of a sudden what you realized or what you thought was good in the beginning, the juice is not worth the squeeze. And that's where what I want to have happen with you guys is I want to save you guys time and time, like tons of years of hardship or pain or agony. And I don't want you to make the mistakes that 99% of guys make. And that's why over the years throughout my entire business, I've created tons of different products for you. For those of you guys who are trying to actually learn how to attract and keep the type of women that you want, I've created MBT. MBT is masculine behavioral techniques. I'm running a free training below this video. It's been battle tested and proven with over 3000 customers to help them on their masculinity journey and to help them attract the type of woman that they want. I would highly recommend checking that out. The second thing I would recommend doing brand new for 2022 this year is check out the freedom Academy. 
I see guys daily turning over sales, understanding how to sell online, understanding how to actually become financially free. And these are guys working to quit their day job. These are guys who are now networking with other men who are on their mission to being full stack. And if you want to network with guys like myself, guys like my brother, Cole, other high value men, you're going to want to be in that community. That's the place where brotherhood is met. That's the place where friendships are made. And that's where you can actually have a rock solid digital social circle that carries you into the future. And these are connections that might serve you a lifetime. You don't know what would happen when you come into this. You might come into this and you might meet a guy in there who's making money and you learn concepts from him or from me, you see those concepts, you copy paste what we teach you, you put them into real life practicality and you might see a business partnership roll down the uh, roll down your life and work years and years in advance. And those are the types of partnerships when it comes to networking that you just can't beat. And you cannot find anything else like that outside of the Freedom Academy because it truly is the best space for guys to come into and make money. I show you my exact path from zero to multimillionaire and in business at such a young age. And because of that, I desire nothing more than to help you become high value and help you become full stack. So guys, hit the like button, comment and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.